Uh, I'm Mike Mainfield, uh, I'm an Associate Professor and Future Fellow in the School of Biotechnology and Biomolecular Sciences. I'm also uh, Deputy Director of the Centre for Marine Bioinnovation. I'm working with a, a talented group of young postdocs, Matt Lee, Adrian Lowe and uh, Joanna Koenig, who've been developing uh, diagnostics and bacterial cultures to facilitate the, the cleanup of chlorinated solvent contaminated sites. Yeah, so we take inocula from a site, so we take soil or groundwater samples from a site, we bring those back to the lab and we uh, grow them under certain conditions to select for the bacteria that uh, can degrade the pollutants. We then grow them up in uh, beer kegs, um, 18 litre beer kegs, and uh, truck them to a contaminated site and uh, inject them into the ground. It's as simple as that. The process by which these bacteria break down these pollutants, they're, they're not actually eating the pollutants, they're uh, breaking them down through a respiratory process, they're breathing the pollutants in the same way that we breathe oxygen. And once they've completed the job, once the pollutants have all been broken down, then they have nothing left to breathe, uh, so the populations die off. Industrialised countries like the United States or North America, for example, there are thousands of sites contaminated with chlorinated solvents. The contaminants will last in the ground for several hundreds of years, uh, and the existing technologies to deal with that are very energy intensive and very expensive to operate. Australia is really crying out for uh, a cost effective and environmentally sustainable solution to this problem. It works really well, so it's, it's a rapid remediation, it's much more cost effective and it's the Earth's way of cleaning up um, itself. Uh, bacteria act like the liver of the Earth to, to clean up these sites. So this whole thing kicked off through the Environmental Biotechnology Cooperative Research Centre. We had four universities working together, uh, managed from the University of New South Wales. We had an industry partner on board who's been instrumental in funding the operation from the get-go. You know, I'm a, I'm a New South Wales country boy, so I grew up uh, taking care of the land and it's always been very important to me. So it's been green fingers right from the start. 